Alright, hey guys, and welcome to another Digital Designers tutorial by DoodooCatio12. Today, we'll be learning something on the channel which, well, there are uh, of the same thing helping you on other channels like Workrooms, uh, Doctor Sleeping Kills, Coldite, and there are a few other ones. I have done something similar and I kind of taught it, but this time I am gonna go in an in depth in-depth um, tutorial on how to do it and there are two ways which is how to render a character a roblox character uh, to put on your thumbnail um, all right so without any further ado let's get started <clears throat> first we are gonna go to um, we're gonna go to Google this is one of the first ways so I'm gonna go for the first way first so, okay, uh, since I'm using Google Chrome already, I'm just going to do that. Uh, and then you're going to type in, um, what's it called again? Um, okay, so uh, Roblox, oh Jesus, Roblox extensions, Roblox extensions. Um, no. Okay, no, not that one. Item notifier, inventory search bar. Wait, is it that one? Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, Alright, so you can go through here. Actually, no, it's not this. Okay, fine, whatever. Alright, so just type in Roblox on this. Uh, click on extensions. Say, so we'll only show you extensions. And then you're gonna go in. You're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna download. Uh, this is only if you use Google Chrome, by the way. So let me just warn you, so you don't try this on any other browser. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna look for Roblox Quick Asset Downloader. You're gonna click on it, or you can, uh, or just say uh, download there. Uh, I'll add to Chrome, uh, should I say? And it should download. After you've downloaded it, this is just the main. This is my main way, which I use to get characters to actually do it. We're gonna do after. You're gonna go to any character. Uh, let's just go to any here. All right, let's go to Bazera. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, go to any profile. You have to be on their profile page. Uh, as soon as you've done that. Uh, you will see this little thing over here on the uh, URL bar. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, if you hover over there, it's gonna say Roblox Quick Asset Downloader. You're gonna click on it, uh, and then um, what you're gonna do is this will show up these three options. So, uh, so. What you're gonna do is you're gonna. Uh, this is just a texture. This is if you want to drag it in. If you already have a uh, studio open, uh, you do that. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the second one. So uh, click to edit in studio. And it's gonna download. You're gonna open it. Okay, so it's going. It's upgrading. So I'll just I will just pause this uh, recording uh, until it has finished uh, upgrading Roblox Studio, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, hey guys. Uh, sorry, uh, this actually took a while. Um, well, not that update, but I had after I paused there, I actually had a few interference interferences. Uh, okay, so uh, we're back in uh, the studio just like it was before I just delete the swords which he had on there uh, all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, click on workspace you're gonna open it up uh, the full characters there so you're just gonna um, right click on it export selection uh, and then you're gonna save it wherever you want it uh, wait I'll just copy his name out okay there we go and now uh, characters uh, just save it wherever you want. I do. Uh, I have made a video on how to keep it organized. Then well, you can go check that out uh, if you want. Um, character edit. Uh, save it. Uh, after you've saved it, uh, you're gonna open um, Cinema 4D. So just open that up. Um, I'll just leave it open up, and then when it's done, I will get back to you guys. So. 
Yeah. All right, so we have Sima for the open up. All right, so next thing you're gonna do is, um, well, you can just merge it. I'm just gonna open a Lightroom up. Um, you can actually get a Lightroom from uh, Kodai's channel. He actually has one in there, uh, which would be good for uh, anyone who's starting out in graphics designing. Uh, but I do have my very own one, so I'm just gonna open up my Lightroom. Uh, and then uh, after you've done uh, uh, downloaded Code Lights 1 or you make your own lights, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and you're going to click on Merge. Uh, you're going to look for where you saved the character. So, Bzera, Bzera, here we go. And then you're going to click on the OBJ file. You're going to click OK. Um, I think that should be on scale in 1. Uh, but I just have it on 100 because I do some things with it, uh, but yeah, whatever. Uh, and then, uh, just if you go down here, you should see this little thing over here. You're going to double click on that. This should show up. You're going to click on these little three dots here. Uh, you're going to go back to where you saved the character. Uh, and click on the texture. Sometimes there will be two, so just look out for the, what the names are on the thing. So as you can see there, uh, over there, so Bzera one mtl uh, If I go back to this, it actually does say that uh, Bzera one texture Actually, that's the MTL, but, um, but yeah. It should, yeah, it just, yeah, normally it's just one, but sometimes it does actually come out as two. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is uh, you can delete all of this. Uh, that just actually no, actually this time I'll leave that on. Uh, you can always delete that. That just gives a bit of a shadows to the thing. Uh, you're gonna rotate it to have you want it. Uh, yeah, and then you're gonna get the right position, obviously. And then uh, to render it out, you're gonna either okay, actually no, you have to go uh, into here first. Click here, uh, and then this should show up. Uh, just um, change every uh, change the width to 800, uh, 600 uh, pixels, and then go to save. Uh, click on save. Uh, look, um, click on the little three dots here. Uh, go to where you want to save it. So Bzera rendered, uh, and then it should show up all the way how to get there and render there. Uh, you're gonna click on alpha channels. Uh, that's to actually make everything transparent. Uh, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, actually no, that's it. Yep, that's fine. Okay, there we go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move to a position, like I said before. And then uh, this one, you the you can always click the shortcut so Control R just to render view. Uh, this is just gonna give you a preview of what uh, the thing actually looks like. Uh, actually, no, yeah. Let me just delete this. Give me a sec. Okay. Well, oh, that looks much worse. Um, what the freaking? Oh, oh, I think I know. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, uh, if you have my Lightroom, what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight everything and you're gonna click S U, S U, a couple of times, uh, like three times or so, uh, and then you're gonna click on the preview thing. Uh, any time now. Okay, for some reason not working, but as you can see, it's already looking better after you press the S U thing. So let's see, U S U S. Mm, there we go. And now render. Hmm, it's preparing. Okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, one of the ways you can actually get the character in here. Uh, and then the second way is uh, what a few people actually teach you on how to do. Um, I'll just close this up. So I'm just going to teach you how to actually do it. So uh, you can go into Studio, and um, well, I just open a new file actually. Uh, file new. Um, let's see. Uh, anytime now. 
Uh, okay, guys, I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I sort this out. Um, okay, hey guys, uh, I'm back, and actually, um, I said at the beginning this would be a two-way tutorial, so a two-way to do it. But uh, I will leave the link in the description of this video for the Chrome uh, extension. Uh, on how to do this um, if you use any other browser I do recommend you just use Google Chrome to actually do digital designing or anything uh, related to Roblox um, yeah um, so I'll just leave it at that I'll leave the download link of everything below uh, definitely um, for everything you need and that's it guys uh, don't forget to leave a like uh, if you're not in the group already do not forget to join it, uh, the official group, which is the little brackets thing. Okay, let's just load this up. Okay, so it's the little bracket thing. Uh, DD bracket again, digital designers. Uh, and yeah, that's our group. And then don't forget also to join our DeviantArt if you're not already in it. Uh, so digital designers RBX. Uh, everything will be in the link in the video description as well uh, so don't forget to check those out um, and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for even better tutorials coming uh, soon alright so guys see you later alright guys so right now I'll just leave you listening to the rest of the song see ya